Chrono. 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 Okay, well, we're getting woken up again. Ah, uh, okay. It's time to rise and shine. We have a little surprise for you. Your stay of execution has been canceled. We must now carry out your sentence. Oh, great. So we're still going to get executed? I thought they pardoned us. Eh, oh well. We've been looking for you, Chrono. Where did you take my daughter? Daddy, don't! Chrono hasn't done a thing! She says Chrono has been a perfect gentleman, but... What do you think, Chancellor? Chrono's deeds have had an enormous impact on the kingdom. Chancellor, how could you? Please, just listen to me. We had to... Save the future, right? Hehehe, <laughs> surprise face. Huh? Oh, hey, Doan. What's up? You saved the future and gave us hope. Oh, what's up, King Guardia? The other? You fought Magus' troops and brought peace to the kingdom in the year 600. Oh, and Kino, too! Chrono beat Reptites! <laughs> what? What's going on here? Oh, hey, Lucia! With the gate key? Lucia! You brought them here, didn't you? Our kinsman told me all about your incredible mission. Kinsman? You mean these are my ancestors? And descendants? Here I was fussing about my kingdom and my daughter, and you were saving past, present, and future. Now, for a true victory parade. Tonight, we celebrate you. Hey, sounds good to me. Now, Marley, go out and enjoy the last night of the fair. Yippee! Come along with Chrono, our hero. Princess Nadia is finally home! At last, Guardia is back to normal! It's a Moonlight Parade! And some of those text boxes that have been popping up and going away quickly, those... Some of the story sequences, sequences in the finale drive themselves, so... Yeah, I tried to keep up as best I could. But you see... Of course, Chrono and Marley get escorted around the Millennial Fair Square, and there's Chrono's mom kind of watching the show, and Taven and Laura sitting there, well, he's sitting there, she's standing there, which is, again, a reflection on us doing those side quests, and then Melchior sitting there in his usual weapony spot. I don't know whose cat that is, I don't think it's ours, that's leading the parade, go figure. And I guess everybody else is just random citizens. I don't know, maybe somebody told them free food, or hey, guess what? We, uh, we had somebody who just saved time, or I don't know. I don't know what it took to draw them there. But once they make a circuit around here, you can travel along on your own. And there's not really much to see, because it's pretty much... It's, you know, sectioned off, but you can dance these things around here. Talk to, uh, Chrono's mom. You saved us all? That's nice, dear, but I wish you spent more time around the house. It's a real problem when the person who's in charge of the cat is gone. Oh yeah, we didn't really feed the cat, did we? Oops. Oh well. <sighs> Yum! Lemonade sure tastes great outdoors. Chrono, have a sip. You're the hero today. Well, I don't mind if I do, if you've got any extra. Honey, don't just be a sack of potatoes. Dance with me. Again? 
If you hadn't saved Laura, she would be making a different pronunciation. She would be sitting in a different spot in the whole nine yards. Chrono, the king says you saved the future. Wait till I tell my friends. Are you sure you want to go spreading stuff like that around? I don't know. I guess they are throwing a party for us, so oh well. Not much business in weapons anymore, but I like it that way. Huh, wise words from our very own sage. And travel up here, and we've got more uh, surprises, I guess. Not really much to do over here, because both of the sides, as you'll see, are blocked off. So we can't go into... We can't really go into Reptite or the uh, Dancing Land, or we can't really do the side quest stuff or what have you, so bye-bye, Gato. Just go ahead and head up front here. And looks like everybody's there. Well, everyone, this is it. Each to thine time. The gate has grown weak. We've got to say our goodbyes before the gate closes. You're all leaving? Yep, looks like it. Chrono was strong. Marley, too. Ayla, have fun. You're my distant ancestor, so you'd better have tough kids or I'll be in trouble. Hehe, <laughs> no worry. Ayla, very strong. Ooh, okay then. Right. Hey, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Kino dummy, we go now. Okay, see you later. And clearly, Ayla is wearing the pants in that relationship. Tis a feisty crowd, but they are thine kin, and tis of consequence. Queen Lean awaits. Your Majesty, we too shall take our leave. Okay, well, see you later, King. What, Mr. Frog? Ah, <sighs> long farewells ne'er were necessary. Right, besides, actions speak louder than words. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't these things end with the princess kissing the frog? And off goes frog. So, you're going to search for Shala? Then off goes Magus. And finally we have Robo and Doan. Lucia, I will miss you. What's wrong, Lucia? Aren't you going to say anything to Robo? She knows. Knows what? <sighs> Robo was born in a bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. Robo may not exist in the future. Ha <laughs> ha, please relax. The new future has a place for me. Darn it, Robo! Don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. Lucia, you have taught me these emotions. Thank you. Tears don't become you, Lucia. Robo will be there in the new future. Good bye. Ooh! Caution! Oil has watched over my sight sensors. Sight diminished. Aw, even Robo's crying. Sorta. And farewell to Robo. Guess that's it. Do you remember that talk we had? You mean about whether our lives flash by before we die? Yeah, I get the feeling that the entity is finally at rest. Yes, I feel that too. Again, another tip of the hat to the side quest. 
or one of the side quests. Time travel? How exhausting! We should dismantle the crow. Its job is finished. And then here come my cats. Huh. And, and Chrono's mom. You naughty thing, come back here. Look, Chrono, your cat's running away because you haven't been feeding it. And by the way, if you do a lot of the cat quests and the cat food, you can have up to nine cats, I think, run up here, which is just insane. Uh oh. Hey, come back here. Wait, wait, no! Uh oh. Oh, great! Chrono, that gate will never open again! Well, it looks like we have no choice but to go after them. Go after them? But the gates! Lucia, don't turn off your brain yet! I forgot! We have a time machine! After they just talked about it, too. Eh. Yeah! Oh, Princess, the king asks for your presence. Okay, alright, what does the king want, I wonder? Let's see... Oh, hey, king! I'm so happy! Now there's no reason for you to go away anymore! I have a gift for you to commemorate this day, Princess Nadia. We got ourselves a new bell, I guess. This is Nadia's bell. It will ring out across the land. And the king de can't have anybody else put it up there for him, I wonder? <laughs> M Marley, where did you go? Could someone please lend me a hand? Daddy, I hate to say this, but I can't sit around doing nothing. And uh oh. Okay, well, off we go to see if we can find Chrono's mother. Oh, hey, what's up, Tabin? Phew, made it just in time. Shall I fire one off? Uh, no, Tabin. Actually, I could really use your help. Sorry, that those last couple were auto-done, too. And here we go. The final ending sequence. Of course, let the credits roll here. And you get nice fireworks. We get Toriyama, who did the character design, especially a lot of the enemies. Notice Sakaguchi is one of the supervisors. And Yasunori Mitsuda and Nobuo Uematsu tag-teamed on the music, probably two of the JRPG's greatest composers. And we get ourselves a vista of the crow making one last flight. Well, it's, it's been a great adventure. Thank you guys for coming along with me. It, uh, as you probably noticed at the beginning of the LP, this is the first time I've done a Let's Play. And it's been pretty, it's been pretty touch and go sometimes. It's definitely been a lot of trial and error in terms of trying to figure out what to do in the first place, picking a game, obviously, figuring out how to record it, doing the voice work, which in the beginning was just recording and doing voice work through Loilo, which is what I used to record, and then getting Audacity, and then recording separate tracks, and all the mixing and editing. And here's some scenes. You see, Robo and Atropos do have a place in the new future. And Ayla and Kino in the past, and then Frog and the King and Queen. And I really like this part, because you see Frog and Lean, even though you know, they're not together, they certainly have a special relationship. And then you have Magus trying to find his sister. Now, there are a couple of groups of people that I want to thank specifically in doing this finale. The, the free company, my free company from Final Fantasy XIV, the Midnight Crows, first on Brynhildr, and then on Server Leviathan. 
have really encouraged me. They were the ones who actually got me into doing this in the first place because I had expressed a potential interest and they encouraged me to go for it. So I named the airship the Crow in honor of my free company and I really wouldn't be here without them. The other group I want to thank and credit in this closing is the Let's Play Sanctuary at letsplaysanctuary.net. I joined them about midway through this LP and the encouragement and the support that they've given me have helped me to make myself a better Let's Player really all around. So without those groups, I certainly wouldn't be where I am and I greatly appreciate their support and, and their help throughout all of this. And we close off, we get the end of the Japanese credits and we get some of the, I guess, extra credits, with, including Ted Woolsey as the translator with fits and starts here and there. And then the rest of it is basically kind of your minor credits, I guess, test coordinators and testing personnel and lots and lots of Japanese names. So I'm not even going to try to pronounce half of these. I don't want to tongue tie myself, but there you go. There you have it. And we're coming to the close. We're coming to the finish of Chrono Trigger. Now, what I plan on doing in regards to the next sets of episodes and such is I do want to continue on a little bit because there is some more content along with Chrono Trigger. If you've played it before, then you know this very well as we come to the end. Now, one thing about Chrono Trigger is when they were testing this game out, the testers actually were so, so enjoyed it so much and wanted to play it again. So they did institute a new game plus mode into Chrono Trigger. As a matter of fact, it's the first time there was a new game plus in Chrono Trigger. So I'm going to be doing some of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to post all the extra endings that you can get in Chrono Trigger. So I'm going to start actually by posting the bad ending, the worst ending you can get, which is Lavos kicking your butt. And then I'm going to go on and begin posting the New Game Plus endings as I run across them in the rest of my gameplay. So, for the final time in the main story quest of Chrono Trigger, thank you guys for joining me, and I will see y'all later. <laughs>